Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. And he makes a weird fucking noise. Who is this girl? Uh, she's kind of cute. Clark, is that you? Right, cute. Who are you? Hey, you want date? Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? <laughs> Why? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you can judge on each seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. <laughs> the way Isaac... Man, Isaac had some sass. He's like, I'm here to help you. Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Isaac, please. There's no need to be such an asshole. Okay? What the fuck? What is that? Is that a pillow? Is that a sack of potatoes? What the fuck? Alright. Hmm. Well, that guy's dead. That's, I learned that already. Don't worry. I know how to hold my flashlight. I can't go this way, I guess. I go. go I can't go that way. I go, I go this way. Did something just roll on the ground? Okay, something's over there. What a cheap jump scare. Ha! What a cheap giant you think you can give me? I play this game hundreds of times. Well, I play like four times, I think. No cheap jump scares for me. Asshole. Oh, look, save game. Ah, oh, yes. Playing on Zealot. I'm gonna legitimately die a lot. I can already fucking feel it. Like, I feel like like I played Dead Space and I know, I know the lore and all that stuff well enough. But, like... Okay. I, I like. I feel like I play this game enough where it's like I can do decent, but I don't think I'm that good yet or at all. But uh, I did Zealot. The reason, okay, the reason I did Zealot for anyone wondering is because like I played this game a lot. There is a Necromorph Claw right there. Okay. Anyways, so like I, I play this game a lot, and I've already done it on my channel a little bit before. And the, the commentary, if you watch the commentary on that, back to like if you watch. My old commentaries, like that old Dead Space commentary, compare it to I guess this one. I guess technically speaking, this commentary is a little bit better because like I've done I've done my commentaries a lot more since then, and I'm I'm a lot I'm a lot more laid back and a bit more chiller than then. Right? That guy's fucking you dead. Me? If Tideman finds you, more people will die, including me. Not if you follow the route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. Ah, what a bitch. Anyways, so like, I've done enough commentaries, I believe. I've been doing this for like, what, three years already or something like that. Like, you know, I've been, I, I take a lot of hiatuses though, so like, you know, that is a thing. I've, I've had plenty of hiatuses, but uh, I've done, I've, I've done this enough where my commentary's gotten a little bit better. And since I've already done this game beforehand, there's a character right there. Since I've already played this game before, Shoot any kills. I figured, why not do Zealot? Cause it would add a bit more. There's gotta be one more coming. That can't be all. I always, I swear to God, there's three of them that come out. I guess not. I gotta swore there was three that come out. Unless it changes on Zealot. What the fuck's my stomp? I swear to. When I hit. When I punched this necroform, necromorph and it moved, I actually kind of jumped a little bit. That scared me, just just randomly. I don't know why. But anyway, so like, I like I've done this before. I play this game before. I commentate a lot, and you know, I I personally feel like as a whole that playing Zealot would would be a bit more entertaining for you guys and a bit more challenging for me because I don't want to I don't want to fucking stroll through this game on easy. That's not fun or normal. That's not fun. And I think I don't think hard enough would be. Shit. I don't think hard would actually be hard. It's what I'm trying to say here. Shit fuck. I actually panicked there for a second. I don't have a gun, so I kind of panicked because I, I... I don't like not having a gun. <laughs> so I felt like it'd, it'd be more entertaining for you, it'd be more entertaining and challenging for me. And I... like This is my first time actually playing Zealot. Um, Dead Space 2. I think I played hard on Dead Space 2, but I never beat it on hard. 
because that I I was playing on hard and then Dead Space 3 came out and I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna jump on the Dead Space 3 and I started playing Dead Space 3 beat it like two times I started playing it on realistic I think it was either realistic or like whatever mode unlocks the the like 8 bitty version or something I don't know I don't know what it is it's not like an 8 bit version I don't I don't know what it is but it, there's a certain version you can unlock when you beat like some certain level of hardness on Dead Space 3 I'm kind of rambling here but I would, yeah, I started playing that, and I stopped it, and I moved the PC things, and here I am now. But yeah, that's, for anyone wondering why I'm doing Zealot, that's why we're doing Zealot. 20, 23, 22 minutes in, or whatever, and I just not explain why I'm doing Zealot. So that's whatever. This guy's chest is wide open still. That poor fucking asshole. Uh, are you a doctor? I mean, I can be if you want me. But I'm not really a, a doctor. Calm down. You. I'll cut you out of there. You. Is that a it's tissue injury? A plasma Please. cutter? Come on. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh shit. What the fuck? Isaac, hurry up. Shit. Give him the kick. Give him the Isaac Clark kick. Yeah, kick him while just like me. Yeah, just like. Oh, no, he can't do it. He's not like me. Oh no. Oh. Uh, Isaac, you really fucked up on this one. Get fucked, nerd. Is there no one? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Oh, baby. Oh, get on the ground. What the fuck just happened over there? That guy just got fucked up. That guy was not like me at all. Poor bastard. Did you drop anything? I could have... Yeah, you did. And this guy dropped something because I fucked him up. Gotta, I hear fucking giblets rolling around and it scares me. Stop moving. And I, let's fucking get more ML. And I should have. So I bought. Okay, so I bought Dead Space 2 and 1. Dana's talking to me, fucking bitch. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Visceral Games' logo's right there. Thanks. That's an nice Easter egg. I burped there, sorry. Oh, before I talk again, uh. I have a water bottle here, so if you're crinkling, that's my water bottle. I'm probably not going to edit that out, because it's I have to edit out like a bunch of car sounds already, so... I don't want to fucking edit out random water bottle crinkles, so just please deal with it. And if you don't want to deal with it, call me a fucking lazy asshole in the comments, I don't really care. Because I shouldn't have to I shouldn't have to censor my water bottle for you guys, it's just a water bottle. Free water bottle 2016. But uh, what the fuck was that? Oh yeah, so I bought Dead Space 1 and 2. Uh, downloaded one and two. I played like legitimately probably five minutes of two of one, so I could get the refurbished plasma cutter for two. Because if you have a save data for uh, one, there's a motorcycle right there. Twenty-four minutes and there's a motorcycle. I just, I don't know why I said that out loud. I I kind of trying I'm trying to keep track of when I hear motorcycles. I kind of edit out the sounds a little bit. But uh, yeah. But anyways, so I played five minutes of one because if you have save data of <laughs> what. Okay, that scared me. That legitimately got me. Okay, well, there's gonna be enough more coming around here. I forgot about that part. Alright, he's coming! Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit! Eat the chair! That's- no! Fuck me! Okay. All right. Okay, so maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So maybe putting on Zealot was a bad idea, because I'm actually a little bit freaked out. It's been a while since I've actually been freaked out while playing Dead Space. <laughs> the last Dead Space game that freaked me out was Dead Space One. Well, I mean, Dead Space Two does have its moments where it's like legitimately freaky and scary a little bit. But uh. Oh god, that got my heart jumping a little bit there. I don't think I'm ready for- I don't think I'm actually ready for Zealot. I don't think- I don't think I'm good enough. Can I shoot that? Can I- Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Hey, can I get that? Is that money? Yeah, that's an audio. Fuck this. Uh, that right there. Oh, shit, I heal. God damn it. And then I- I stopped the audio. Fucking fuck. Where's the audio logs? Because I fucked it up. Where- Where are they? Shit the bed? Orderly 
TPS report oh, okay. one one three eight. Patient three has again shit the bed. <laughs> Patient continues to draw what looks like a mark as she can, including her own feces. That's gross. Her trembling hands have reached the point where she cannot feed, drink, or bathe herself. Her outlook is uncertain. Entry end. That's fucking gross. Yeah, you gotta shoot his limbs off. <gasps> Why are they telling me that now? Like, every Dead Space game you have, they, they tell you, you gotta take off the limbs, shoot the limbs. And it's like, they tell you to, to take off the limbs legitimately fucking 800 years afterwards. Okay. <clears throat> the patients are becoming agitated and combative with us. As a result of the new regim re re regimens of memory erasing drugs, they no longer remember who we are from day to day and must be convinced to leave their cells each morning. Many are so frightened they require sedation to get to an inter interrogation chamber. Orderly G-Guy was bitten three times by patient six, who now must be told why he has a broken jaw every morning. Wow. Sucks to be that guy. Sucks to be patient six. Who has to be told every morning why he broke his jaw. They probably lied too. They're like, yeah, you broke your jaw. You, you uh, yeah, you, you, you fell out your bed one morning like an, a dumbass and you broke your jaw. All right, boys. Looks like it's time to get into the red zone. Isaac, Isaac, come on. Who's that guy? I'm, oh, shit. I'm stuck. Who is? Who is? I'm on my way, there's blood everywhere, what the fuck? Oh, look at, oh that guy broke the vending machine. Through here? Do you see how small that was when you said that to me, asshole? No, I don't remember. There's a security lockdown. I told you to hurry, how'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Fine, let's see how long you last that. Look, I don't need your help. I'm Isaac fucking Clark, bitch. It's like Dante, the motherfucker. Who wants to get fucked now, huh? Who wants to get fucked? Shit. Oh, shit. Looks like I'm gonna get fucked. Bitch! Yeah! Yeah, eat shit! Eat shit, pig! Who wants to get fucked? Huh? Who wants to get fucked? Yeah, no one's getting fucked now, huh? You don't wanna get fucked? I don't wanna get fucked. Well, maybe I do a little bit. But not by Necromorphs. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Yeah, what was that random lag spike there? What the fuck? Not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal. That sucks to suck, Dana. All right, new text log. Okay, I can't read that. Uh... Is this text log? No, that's audio. What is this? Dana... Oh, okay. So that was me, I'm in here, okay. Uh, attention, reception, uh, reception desk, desk. I can't fucking talk, what the hell. <clears throat> Please refer all registrants complaining of anxiety and or psychological problems to the other hospitals in the area. We are booked and running low on mood elevating medications with recent CEC layoffs and increased tension between Utahtis and EarthGov. I thought that there was enough to spike in case this new wave is something entirely different. It's probably the marker. Ooh. Spooky. You fucking idiots. Actually, I'm pretty sure most of people here didn't even know there was a marker even on Titan Station, but still, fucking idiots nonetheless. 